Okay, so this is going to be about making a padded baby photo album. So if you have anybody that's getting ready to have a baby, uh, these make cute little uh, baby shower gifts, keepsakes, uh, just, you know, something that you can give them to um, put away for the baby. And all you need is, this is just a, a cheap dollar store uh, binder. It's a one inch binder. Uh, it, it, it costs a dollar. And w I'm going to show you just how easy and how cute these come out. So what you're going to need is a binder. And then you're going to need some padding. And the padding is 11 and a half inches. Uh, this way by 21 inches across and what you're going to do is you're going to hot glue it to the binder and this is it's going to make it padded it's not a lot of padding but it'll it gives it a little bit of puff when you add everything to it so you're just going to hot glue it to the edges on on both sides you don't have to worry about the tops or the bottoms or just on the edge of it where it opens and you're going to need for the inside of it you're going to measure up and down or ac across and up and down and this way it's going to be 11 inches and from the inside of the clips out it's going to be 10 inches and I've already pre-cut a couple of pieces. This is going to be for the inside of it and it's cut out of poster board which also comes from the Dollar Tree. So this is what it's going to be and then you're going to take a piece of the material which is this is what I'm using. I, I thought it was really really pretty. It's very sparkly and it's for a little girl. Uh, the board is like I said it's going to be 11 inches by 10 inches and the piece of material that you're going to use to cover it is going to be 13 inches by uh, 11 inches because what you're going to do is fold it over and glue the edges and I'll show you how to do that when the time is right but for the covering after you put the padding on it the covering that's going to go over it is going to be uh, 13 inch, 13 and a half inches this way and 23 and a half inches the other way. So what you're going to do is after you put the padding on it you're going to lay your material down and I hope this all gets in frame I'm trying my best but what you're going to do is start with the corners and just fold it up and glue it down and you're going to do that for all four corners And then you're going to start by going right along the edge. And you're going to fold the material up. You're actually going to cover the whole binder. When you get to this middle piece, the clips, just tuck the material up underneath the edge of it. and just keep going right all along the edge and you're going to 
to do this all the way around. Just fold it up. These are so cute when they're done. When you add all the little decorations. You can get some small letters and paint them to color coordinate with the, the fabric. Or if you have an embroidery machine before you put the material on the book, if you know the baby's name or what they're going to name it, you can embroider the baby's name and if you make it for after the birth you can do the name and the birth date with the year or you can write some little quote embroider some little quote or you can pick up like I said little letters and paint them to color coordinate and glue them on there's so many different things that you can do okay so now that you have all the edges glued together that's what it's going to look like and for the inside pieces it's pretty much the same thing you're going to lay the material down and you're going to do the corners first And you don't have to use the one inch binder. You can make them thicker if you want them to be able to add a lot of photos. I do the one inch and I usually stick about 12 pages inside so that they have a page for each month for the first year. Right along there, fold it up. <coughs> and this is going to take a couple of glue sticks. So make sure you have them handy. As you can see, it's fairly quick going. And you don't have to worry so much about the way the inside of this looks because nobody's going to see that part. So once you get it all nicely covered, these are the two inside pieces. And you're just going to open your book and you're going to glue them inside just like that. You're going to go along the edge here. That's going to be the first piece to glue down. Just kind of center it on there.
do the outside edge. the other side. each of the sides. Do the edge. Okay. You're going to crease these pieces. Just stick your thumb in there and work it. If it comes loose, just add you a little bit more glue. You're going to get some coordinating ribbon. I chose purple. And you're going to cut a pretty good sized piece. These are going to be the ties that's going to tie the book closed. So you're just going to glue right to the edge. And this is, uh, they call it decorative trim. It's kind of lacy. And I want to say I got this at Hobby Lobby. Um, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but this is, it was $1.99. And I do believe it, it came from Hobby Lobby. But what you're going to do is unroll it. You're going to use a pretty good portion of it. So just kind of let it dangle. And you're going to start at the bottom. And you're going to go right along the edge. You'll see where you've put the inside paper. So 
So you're just going to go right along the edge there. And you're going to glue this in place. When you get to the corner, you're going to bunch it just a little bit to give it a little bit of give or a little bit of a ruffle or you don't want to pull it too tight. And you're just going to continue all the way around the book. get to the corner. Give it a little bit of a, a ruffle. the corner. Give it a little bit of extra. When you get on the last little section, you can kind of lay it out and go ahead and cut off the excess. For the inside pages, I go on Amazon. I buy a lot of things from Amazon. And you can buy a pack of 50. They're called Ready Mount Photo Mount Mounting Sheets. And they're acid free, so they're not supposed to color or fade or turn yellow or anything like that. So for about 50 cents a sheet, it's not bad. Uh, for a box of 50 of them, it is uh, $24.95. So you just put your sheets in there and you tie the little book right here in the middle. Give it a little bow. And you can use bigger ribbon. I just happen to like the little dainty ribbon. And Dollar Tree has these cute little baby items. Uh, they have little boots and they have little carriages. 
and they have little tiny baby rattles and I'm going to use a rattle and all you do is take a couple pieces of ribbon and in the middle here just to make it easier you're going to pop out there's like three little beads in there you can take your exacto knife or if you have a little tiny so you just pop it out just to make the hole a little bit bigger to get your ribbon through it just slide it on through and make it into a bow and you have a little ribbon and a little rattle and you just attach it with some hot glue well, just throw it down. Just attach it, just like that. Hold it for just a second or two. And, like I said, you can get some little letters and you can paint them, you know, to, to match the green and the yellow and the purple. And, you know, you can put their name across it. Or you can write baby book. Or, if again, if you have an embroidery machine, uh, you can embroider their name on it. You can use, instead of a print, you can use a solid color for the embroidery to show up better. But this is a little baby book, and you see it doesn't take long. It, it stays together with the little tie. And so if you know anybody getting ready to have a baby, here's the perfect little, easy, inexpensive baby gift. Thank you for watching my video.